dear friends welcome to oil and gas training youtube channel uh, in this session we are discussing about uh, uh, more features of uh, wellhead and uh, wellhead operation and uh, wellhead testing we have uh, discussed in earlier uh, sessions about uh, christmas tree uh, subsurface uh, components wellhead and uh, flow line manifold etc so in this video we are uh, specifically looking wellhead operation and well testing routine well checks all wells should be manually checked two times a shift the check should ensure the well is running normally just to see the right side figure and it's a well head lower and upper master valve is there wing valve is there swab valve and or crown valve is there subsurface valves are there so and the various readings are there that is in the coming session it will explain properly so an operator should go there near the well uh, at least two times in a shift and check any abnormalities or whether uh, well is running uh, smoothly any usual conditions should be reported immediately to the supervisor who will either take a corrective action or notify the field supervisor immediately procedure for well head checks see the right side uh, there is a beam pump which is connected to the well earlier we have discussed this one uh, this uh, pump is connected normal to pumping the uh, surf, subsurface uh, well fluid to the surface uh, to the gathering system so this type of well is uh, not uh, naturally flowing well so mechanical drive installed to uh, lift the uh, fluid mixture from uh, the well to uh, well head and uh, later to the gathering station so in this case uh, procedure for well head check include operator ensures that the valves on the wells are lined up properly like uh, chock valve and uh, swab valve or uh, these valves are and the uh, lower and upper master valves are connected properly then operator to check for usual noise on the pump if the any abnormality in the pump is running like foundation bolt damaged or any vibrations these are the things operator has to check operator to check the pulley belt and drive rotation of the pump you can see the drive motor is there gearbox is there and the pump system is there pump assembly is there and the beam is there so this all uh, connected system to understand that and the uh, operator regularly go, go going to the uh, well head and checking these items are running uh, normally operator to check gearbox lubrication uh, so level with the pump running any leakage is there or uh, gearbox is running dry these are the item to check and any contamination is there uh, lubricating oil contamination that also need to check operator to check the pump motor temperature to ensure it is not overheating this also one of the important point to continue checking the well head operator to check stuffing box leakage located on the polish rod of the well so see the polish rod stuffing box discharge line hose head everything is connected to the schematically represented here so these are the important items to check by operator small leakage is normal and inform us that the stuffing box has not run dry a hose and a container are provided to contain leakage operator to ensure the areas around the gearbox pump polished rod are clean in order to that any leaks can be easily detected operator will record the following parameters on the instrument provided just to see the right side there is a well head uh, christmas tree provided and uh, various instruments uh, connected to it one is uh, tubing head pressure that is thp is connected in the above the sub valve sometime it is connecting somewhere else also 
but in this is approximately this is a tubing head pressure you can read and the flow, flow line pressure also you can see that is FLP connected to the flow line uh, and another one is uh, casing head pressure that is not showing the picture it is somewhere in the uh, near that uh, lower master valve in the upper master valve it is connecting so the pressure gauge and another important one is flow line temperature that is connected near the wing valve in the, after the wing valve somewhere else but it is not showing in this picture these are the readings uh, daily basis and uh, in a shift basis uh, operator has to take and record and uh, any abnormality is there uh, immediately to report the his uh, supervisor uh, look at the picture this is uh, uh, well control panel uh, assembly the well head is connected to some automatic uh, shutdown system and uh, many readings we can take from this one and uh, like uh, well head pressure uh, flow line pressure flow line temperature and uh, subsurface pressure casing head pressure like etc we can uh, read into the nearest panel moreover uh, in case of emergency an operator can do manual shutdown from near the well head and also a remote shutdown in case of any abnormality like a low pressure or a high pressure high temperature low temperature any leak or whatever it is so these are connected to a well controlled panel so each uh, uh, near the well this type of a uh, panel is installed and uh, sometimes of the plant is working electronic and uh, sometimes the plant is working pneumatic uh, system so instrumentation uh, setup is showing in the uh, picture operator to check the area around the well is free of garbage and oil racks that may cause a fire hazard so housekeeping and uh, safety checks and health hazards checks is uh, routine jobs of an operator operator checks, uh, checks wells with esp ESP means uh, electric submersible pump. The right side picture is showing that is uh, a well is connected with the ESP. So operator to check wells with ESP that the amps ampere is ampere chart is uh, reading steady and report any abnormality to the supervisor immediately. Well sampling. The procedure to take uh, samples. See, sampling uh, is the procedure to, or uh, sampling is a uh, collection of sample uh, oil or gas sample for uh, further analysis, for checking the uh, specifications uh, or uh, various properties uh, of the particular well for uh, see uh, to performance of the well. So, the procedure to take a sample as follows. Prepare clean, dry sample port. That is the usual procedure. We are the correct, correct protective equipment when taking samples. Use H2S monitor because um, most of the wellhead areas are uh, H2S toxic gas smell will be there and a leak will be there. So uh, see the wind direction and uh, use a proper uh, H2S monitor and uh, protective equipment. Carry out a proper flushing of the sample line to ensure accurate sample is obtained. Slowly color the sample and attach the label indicated date, location, time and operator etc etc for uh, uh, proper and uh, correct uh, sample taking. Well testing. Well test measures the standard production of a well in one 24 hour period. It measures the gas, water and oil when the well is working normally which is helpful for tracking the well production over the long time. It can also be helpful in identifying problems or the real strength of a daily production test is showing how the behavior of a well changes over the time. Well testing continuing, the well needs to be running without any problems, reductions or interruptions for at least 24 hours before the start of the test. This process is called normalizing and is important for getting an accurate measurement of the well's true standard daily production. Why testing oil and gas well? 
to know the performance of the well in between uh, various intervals we need to test the well to take uh, accurate reading of how much oil is uh, passing through how much gas is passing through how much water is producing for a specific uh, time interval so this uh, is, this is very important to know the performance of the well and various calculation for uh, reservoir uh, studies so why testing oil and gas well after flowing a well over a stable period via flow meter like a test separator meter or if is plate or a multi phase flow meter mpfm shutting the well with a surface or downhole valve for a finite time interval defines a well test information gained from well test by measuring fluorides at the surface and the pressure with a downhole gauge a well test provides information of on well productivity and reservoir performance over a large scale of investigation so the parameters are skin permeability connected volume and the reservoir pressure we can calculate from this well test parameter taking for at least 20 24 48 hours look at the picture it's a schematic representation of a well testing procedure so the left side far left side is a well head christmas tree representation then the manifold is there so it is connected to a heater or steam exchanger because sometimes the sometimes the well is uh, it is a very cold oil or wax formation will be there so the heating is required for a better suppression not every for every well but some wells are connected with a heater or some heat exchanging system so the three phase test separator which can this heated mixer is entering to the three phase test separator so separator is the vessel we are going to take the class separator about the separator in next sessions so this separator can separate the uh, crude oil mixture coming from the uh, well reservoir is separating to gas water and oil so in uh, three components is separating and multi phase flow meter is connected to e for uh, flaring the for uh, taking the reading from gas and oil and water so we will get accurate reading for uh, a couple of uh, uh, time interval like uh, 24 hours or 48 hours or 30 hours something whatever the uh, fixed by that company so in this one we can calculate and do the correlations and for studies purpose we can use this data so this is a schematic representation of a well test test suppressors test suppressors are installed either in production gathering station or using a mobile test suppressor can be mobilized near the well to be tested so two type of test suppressor is there in the gathering station a permanent fixed separator it can converted into uh, test separator for uh, particular when the time of well testing the separator can connected to or converted into test separator it's a permanent setup uh, that other one is a mobile separator is a, uh, a single unit connected to all facilities are there it's a movable type and by using a vehicle or a, system and it is moving to well head to well head so that system is more easy because well head is far away from the gathering center so each day a group of team is there test separator group a well testing group is there they will go with this mobile separator to the well and connect it and they do testing for the 24 hours the picture is showing a mobile test separator so everything is there a test separator is there a separator is connected to the full uh, basic instrumentation system control system and uh, safeguard system esd system is connected and hose is uh, you can connect it to the well and you can divert the flow to this mobile separator and gas uh, gas uh, flow we can flare it and uh, all facilities are there like a typical separator and 
it's each day going to different different well and connected to the well flow line and doing the well test operation thanks for watching oil and gas training youtube channel uh, please uh, subscribe our channel for uh, regular updates and uh, please write your comments into the comment box for uh, motivating us to improve our quality and uh, we will come back with another training soon thank you